Hi everybody, this is Leah at Cargo. Today we're going over how to log in and out and the main menu on the Platform Science tablet. So on this main screen, it's going to say log in. So once we touch log in, you're going to use your username as your driver code. So that's the code you've always used that is on your badge. Everybody knows that code, I don't have to tell you that. Now your password, it, this does has to be a six digit password. So your new password is going to be the last six digits of your social security number, okay? That is different from what we're using with Omnitrax. It was last four. So make sure you're using the last six digits of your social security number. To make this keyboard move away, we're gonna hit our back button and then we touch login. Okay, we are now logged in. There is no waiting to say log update in progress. These are not your current logs. You are absolutely logged in right now. The first thing it's gonna ask you to do is to certify your hours of service logs to proceed. If you don't certify your logs, it will keep asking and asking and asking until you do it. So just touch review and certify, and I will go through that in a later video. So right now I'm gonna press my home button to go back to the main screen. These buttons along the top is your main menu. Top left hand corner, this button with the little three lines, that's called a hamburger button. If you touch the hamburger button, that's gonna show you your main menu. And these are all the apps that you are available to use. The main ones that you're gonna use are on the main screen, but everything is up here. You can scroll to the top, scroll to the side. The one thing I will point out, PS settings. If you touch PS settings, that is where you can change your screen brightness, up and down or you can set it to adaptive brightness and it's gonna change all by itself. So I'm done with the screen, so I'm gonna to touch the home button to take me back to where I need to be. This little red truck up here with the slash line through it, that is not a good icon. Normally you're gonna have a little white truck with a green circle and green means active, that means your truck is connected. If you're ever driving and you see this red truck, we don't like that and you need to stop immediately as safe as possible and call into the body shop and talk to them and find out why your truck is not communicating with the tablet. Beside of the truck icon is your orange triangle that's going to show any data diagnostic events that have occurred. Beside of that's going to be your name that I'm showing as the driver and that's going to be my name. If you have two different drivers in the truck, if you are a team, that's what join team means. And when I hit join team, I can log in a second driver. The active driver and the active tablet user are not necessarily the same person. So you can change who is the active driver and who is the active tablet user. So if I'm the passenger and I make myself the active tablet user up here, it'll say my name and it'll say passenger. So that means whoever's driving gets the driving time added to their logs and I can still use the tablet. Otherwise, this screen is locked out and you won't be able to see anything while you're driving. The little bell is your notification bell. If you touch that, that's gonna show any notifications that have come in as far as uh, messages or workflow. It's gonna pop up that you have a notification. This is not where you actually read your messages. If I click view all, this is just telling me that I had a new notification come in. If it's new, it'll be blue. Once I click on it, it'll say marked as red, okay? I'm gonna mark them all so that my little notification light goes away and close. Beside of this is my 14 hour or 11 hour clock, whatever time I'm running down to is gonna be right here beside it. And if I touch on, where right now mine says 14 hour DOT, that shows me how many hours I have available right now. And unfortunately, I'm in the negative. It looks like I've been on duty for a while. So this shows on all four rules what hours are counting down to. And just like now, whichever one you're running out of first is gonna be the one that's showing. If I'm running out of my 30 minute before my 11, that's what's gonna show. It shows me my last seven days, so my 70 hour clock is running, tells me what I'm gonna get back. That is all under this clock right here. Beside of that is just your current clock and time zone. To the far right hand side, right now mine is green that says yard move. That's where you're gonna change your hours of service, change your duty status. If I touch on green, that shows that I'm currently in yard move. That's why I have negative time. I'm gonna change myself Let's say off duty. If I click on off duty, it's currently gonna ask me why I'm going off duty. We are gonna get some new uh, options in there, maybe one that says other or break. Right now I'm gonna tell it I'm doing my 30 minute break and click next. Do I wanna end my shift? 
Yes, I do. Confirm your details that I want to go off duty. Yes, I want to confirm. Currently, it's going to ask me where my location is because I'm not in a truck. This will not ask you that when you're in a truck, but it's asking me where I am right now. And I'm going to touch complete. My duty status is now updated. And again, it wants me to review and certify my logs, but I'm going to close that. So you see up here at the top, it now shows gray and I am off duty. So that is the main menu and how to basically change your hours of service. Quickly, I will also show you if you go back to the home button, how to log out is as easy as logging in. If I touch log out here to the side, do you want to log out? Okay. Again, it's going to ask me to certify my logs. I'm going to say not ready and it'll ask me when I log in again. And now you're logged out of the tablet.